Hey, Brian from Garage Wall Hall. Uh, I figured I'd explain oil viscosities since uh, the next part of this video, or the beginning part, depending on how I edited it. Um, explaining viscosity oils. So you have like a, a 20W50, a 5W30, a 0W20. So like, what do all these numbers mean? And if you take a look at this chart, I will try to, uh, try to get it and I'll like freeze frame it so you guys can kind of take a look at it. Um, but that's negative 35 to plus 50 degrees uh, Celsius, depending on what the outdoor temperature is. So if you have like a, a 0W30 or a 0W20, you're going to get better protection, better viscosity, better pouring, uh, which you'll see in your oil than you will on a 20W50. And the W signifies that it is recommended for winter use uh, in colder temperatures, colder climates. However, if you have a 20W50 compared to a 5W30, you'll see a dramatic difference in a pour, which, uh, you know, we show in a video. So just to give you an idea of, like, viscosity, this seems to be, like, more of a common one that you're going to find uh, in most vehicles that they're going to recommend because it gives you really good cold temperature um, usage in the winter up to, like, a negative 35, which is, like, an extreme temperature that most people won't see uh, in the United States, except uh, upwards in like Canada and like Alaska. So this is like a, a lower temperature oil that's recommended because it will pour, your engine will start easier in the winter with a less thicker oil. So if you're in a warmer climate, you have the 50 number at the end, which signifies the, the scale. And that actually doesn't signify to like the temperature so much as you know how far it can go. So like in a summer, in a warmer, weather scenario like a thicker oil would be a lot better for your engine because your engines are going to work hotter in those climates than in cooler climates so you need like a thicker oil for better protection um, so i hope that kind of explains it and when you look at the chart you can kind of see the temperature ranges and you'll get a better idea of how these oils work and it's more for the colder weather starting your, your engine the thicker the higher the number at the end, the harder it's going to be to start your engine in the winter time. Uh, and that's like probably one of the main differences in viscosity for protection of the, the parts and everything else. But anyway, uh, depending on how I edit it, you'll see the, the poor example of these two oils side by side to give you a really good idea of, of how they flow. Um, and in my garage right now, I have the heater on, but... I keep it usually around 50 degrees, like in the winter time. So this will give you a good idea of how these will pour. And these actually I had sitting outside uh, in the cold and it's 10 degrees outside. So it'll give you an idea of how cold these actually are and how they pour and how your engine will react when trying to start it with thicker oils. Uh, did an oil change on this 2008 Escape, and the, the customer insists on using uh, 20W50 motor oil. And I have some 530, which is the recommended for this engine. And I just figured I'd, I'd show you what the, the viscosity, like what oil viscosity is. Um, so he actually only had three of these. So I got to make up with two of these. Anyhow, so... This is the recommended five. Yeah, let me turn the other way so it pours easier. So this is the 530. So you can see how that pours. And then this is your 2050. I mean, you can tell how much more thicker that stuff is. It's like crazy how there's just such a difference. And you can actually see the viscosity difference as it mixes in there. So, I mean, again, this is like an extreme but gives you an idea of uh, what different viscosities are are like in your in your motor. So obviously, like a heavy weight like this is more for like a like a hotter, warmer climate, um, or if you uh, really want a thicker oil in your vehicle. And then this uh, 530 is more of a, a common all-purpose one for uh, you know north and south uh, weather hemispheres. So again, that just gives you. I mean, that stuff is like. Yeah, it's like syrup coming out. Anyhow, uh, Brian from Garage Mahal. Just thought I'd share that little quick thing with you. Uh, thanks for watching, and be safe out there.